Hello again, internet friend, Mr. Chris of 2004 here again, uh, blogging a very quick one uh, tonight. Uh, first of all, you can be my friend on Twitter, where I am Chris of W. Of course, uh, you can check out my other blogging exploits at the end of this video, although uh, the address for my blog is slightly incorrect now. It's not news and not Chris Williams anymore, it is Mr. Chris of 2004 to try and harmonise. Uh, my book next point, although obviously my Twitter address is not consistent with that. So, uh, just a brief one to uh, talk about what fun I'm having with The Sims 2, which I purchased around about eight years ago and then I misplaced it and I never loaded it onto my computer at the time with uh, my computer wasn't fast enough to cope with it uh, for one thing. But um, I was entering university at the uh, time that uh, I got The Sims 2, so uh, I got uh, The Sims 2 University to go with it, and uh, as I say, I misplaced them, so I never got around to playing them. But then, here in the United Kingdom, uh, one of the, uh, the the only main high street computer game retailer uh, was not far off closing down, so they had a, a Bring clearance sale, otherwise known as a closing down sale, but in the end they were saved from closure. So I got these expansion packs reduced in price The Sims 2 Seasons, The Sims 2 Open for Business, and bizarrely I found that uh, the whole thing only works when I stick in the disc for The Sims 2 Bon Voyage. Sticking in the other disc since so you put in the wrong disc. So uh, I've been uh, Running my way around the game, uh, uh, I, I've been making some notes as I go on when I'm new to this, but uh, I clicked to play on uh, River Blossom Hills, and if you're familiar with The Sims 2, uh, I am uh, uh, operating the Roth family at the moment, so there's uh, Monty Roth, who is the father of the household, and I think he's some kind of uh, ecologist or something. I, I've completely changed his appearance since the game started, I've changed my appearance, but ginger hair, glasses, and a beard. I wonder who I based him on. Hey, you've got this wife called uh, Stella, a daughter called Sandra, and some Asian son called Xander. And I've noticed some rather bizarre things as the game has gone along. In particular, these random people just come into the Roth household, and I'm like, who the fuck are they? And in particular, when Xander is sleeping at night, Weird computer generated men are just coming and going into his bedroom. I'm thinking, is this paedophilia or something? Uh, one guy that came into Xander's bedroom while I was playing this evening was uh, Joe Graham. <laughs> and uh, I just found an excellent uh, Sims Wiki site that says that uh, Joe Graham is uh, a senior member of the uh, gardening club, and in fact, he becomes activated when you install The Sims 2 Seasons, so we know where he has come from. Uh, uh, and uh, I arranged it so that uh, the daughter, uh, uh, Sandra, she would go on the telephone and invite her friends along. And there's this boy called Jason who indicated she is in love with. So I clicked for her to phone Jason, but within minutes this completely random boy called Darren Johnson came into the house to socialise with Nicholas. He wasn't listed on the list of friends that uh, Sandra has got. So I'm like, who is he? You know, where did he come from? Why does he just get himself into the house? And uh, similarly, uh, Xander, he's got uh, a female friend around about his age. She always turns up when Xander is at school. How come she's not at school? She ends up playing... Uh, uh, chase with uh, the father of the house, Monty Roth. I mean, it seems to me that he's playing, he's just playing uh, paedophile tendencies nearby, uh, playing with this girl. Of course, he never does what I tell him to do. Earlier on, the fire brigade fascinated me. They, they turned up in the game because Monty Roth was uh, not uh, doing the cooking as I instructed him to do. He was he, I clicked him to do the cooking, he went to do the cooking, and he walked away from it to play snooker, even though I didn't click for him to play snooker. That then we get to the animated frames kind of fabricate and 
and uh, and uh, I was clicking you no know, for Monty Ross to stop the cooking, but he was completely ignoring me. And there's this bar that said about uh, how happy the Sims are. His bar was turning, uh, it was uh, increasing red, and I understand that, that means that he's uh, unwilling to comply with the instructions I'm giving him, or he's unhappy. I know from an episode of uh, 30 Rock, uh, the Liz Lemon character mentioned that when uh, uh, a character is jumping up and down on their bed, as Xander often does, it means that they have not been spending enough time with their father. That's something I'm going to consider as I go along with The Sims 2, but uh, frustrating that uh, I got these random characters coming into my Sims house and I didn't know who they are or why they're coming into the house. None of my Sims characters want to engage in dialogue with these other characters and I click for my Sims characters to go and try and mingle with these random characters but to just stand there staring at them and that sort of thing. I've had a lot of fun though, uh, Monty Rock, you know, I, I'm getting the impression that he's got some kind of mental illness. When it was snowing in the game, you know, the Sims 2 season, the snow to appear in the game, I got him to go outside into the garden, take his clothes off of me, he comes up pixelated, and uh, he went onto this slide and went damn naked into this pool full of ice water. <laughs> well, uh, he had a spot of fun there, was it? Maybe that's what led to uh, him uh, being unwilling to comply with what I tell him to do. But uh, I now try to uh, boost his uh, happiness and increase uh, his level of green, you know, get him out of negative red into positive green. I've uh, used my uh, open for business disc to try and uh, get him to uh, start up a business, and that's trying to uh, be expanding onto in the next few days. I have got him to read a few books, uh, seeing that he's some kind of uh, ecologist, you know, uh, perhaps, so I know, I know to the daughter is around about nine days away from being an adult. When that happens, I will then send her off to uh, the Sims University. Uh, but uh, I'd like the Monty Roth character to uh, uh, be able to become self-dependent, though, create his own business, perhaps a, a business that's based on uh, his knowledge that he's accumulated from reading his books. But reading books is anything I get him to do, actually. Uh, it, it, it's a uh, thing about the other cats as well. It does irritate me that as I say, sometimes they do things I don't want them to do. They go to bed early, or perhaps don't go to bed when I want them to go to bed. And then, particularly in the school gym, they end up uh, running the late for the bus, and they end up going to a school with poor hygiene or not having enough food. But both uh, Xander and... Uh, Sandra, there have been this where they've gone to school and it's been flashing away saying that uh, they've got very poor hygiene or they're very hungry and all that. So, uh, quite a lot of fun, but uh, uh, no. Dif uh, frustrating that uh, we've got Monty Rock, the father of the household, behaving like uh, in the same way that you'd expect the children to behave. So, uh, it's become you know, me being God with all of this uh, on the Sims. So it's a bit chaotic, uh, but I've discovered that there is a third floor in my uh, Sims 2 Roth household, so uh, that's uh, come in handy. Okay, yeah, thanks for your time. Do check out more video blogs over the next few days, weeks, months from me, and do be my friend on Twitter, where I am Chris L W. Okay, thanks for now. Uh, uh, until next time, it's bye for now. Bye bye.
are the words of Chris Williams from Pembroke Dock in Wales, the United Kingdom. Well, Chris, you're certainly entitled to your opinions. We appreciate your note. And so that's Chris Williams. Uh, that uh, from Chris, and uh, he certainly didn't pull any punches. My name is Chris.